Would you like to throw a pie in the face of one of your teachers? Important info for everyone working out for football. And more prom pictures. All today on? On, on the, the air. air. I'm your host, Bree Rice. And I'm your co-host, Colin Walls. And welcome to our show. Have you ever wanted to throw a pie in the face of your teacher? Well, now you'll get the chance, and it will benefit HOSA, the Health Occupation Students of America. Help HOSA by pieing one of your favorite teachers in the face Wednesday next week after school. The tickets will be one ticket for three and two tickets for $5. Come to the cafeteria Wednesday and Thursday of this week and Monday and Tuesday of next week. You must have your ticket to pie a teacher in the face. Remember to donate to HOSA so you can pie your favorite teacher in the face next week. Now so on to some announcements. Seniors, it's time to start thinking about voting for most likely to, for this year's pie area. Make sure to vote tomorrow at the table in the cafeteria. If you're interested in owning an and operating your own business someday, then you need to think about applying to the Boss Technologies Paid Entrepreneur Program this summer. You'll learn how to create and run your own businesses. See Ms. Selmer, Ms. Reynolds for an application. Ever wonder how much you owe in your student lunch account? And now you can check it whenever you want with an app on your smartphone. My School Bucks is available for free. Just download it at your favorite app store and you can check your balance anytime. Don't forget to take a selfie and submit it to this year's Pioneer. Just email it to PioneerOlympics at Yahoo.com. Make sure it's not profane, you're not doing anything dangerous, and of course, no nudity. Get yours in soon. If you're looking to play a sport next year, don't forget to get a physical and get it on file. There are three dates this summer where you can get a cheap sports physical for $10. They will be done at the Reed Orthopedic Center starting at 6 p.m. on May 21st, June 5th, and July 29th. Yesterday we presented an interview with Dr. Borf of her Better Legacy Week. Today, the mayor of Richmond shares her thoughts. Good morning, Mayor Hyden. Um, Good morning. <laughs> starting from the beginning, could you tell us how you got to be where you are now? Wow. Well, number one, being raised in the family that I am, we were very um, family oriented. We helped each other, but we also went out and helped other people. Growing up on weekends, we always were at grandma's or an aunt's or uncle's house doing for them. So I think that has been the, the backbone of my whole life is doing and helping others. And being mayor is certainly doing and helping others. <laughs> um, what values were most important to you on the way to your success? Uh, working hard, uh, taking care of people, and doing whatever you can for them. How specifically did you make acting on these values a priority in your life? Well, I've been pretty busy doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I've always had a little following of different ones that I've helped, and you know, all my brothers and sisters do the same thing too. So the city's pretty well covered with people helping out, and that's what everybody needs to do. You feel better helping somebody than they are even feel about getting the help. It's amazing what adrenaline it gives to you. Was there ever a moment in which you realized that what you wanted, your goals, your personal goals, uh, achieving them was going to make more, or was it going to take more effort than everyone else was putting in? Well, yes, I started out being to be a nurse, and organic chemistry did me. <laughs> and so, organic chemistry. So, uh, <laughs> I, I would suggest to all young people, don't give up. I mean, I'm, I'm certainly would have had an easier life if I would finish and became a nurse. So. Interesting. Uh, what do you love about the life you built for yourself now, however? What are the most rewarding parts? Being able to help people, but also be, seeing people learning how to help themselves and take care of each other. What do you say to kids who might have a slightly negative attitude for Bridgman? Get a life. Change it. Do something <laughs> positive. You feel better yourself when you're doing positive. I always say that people that complain and whine are miserable people and they just want everybody else to be miserable. Not saying they don't have legitimate complaints, but do something about it. Government can't do everything for you. 
you have to be able to help yourself. You're right. What advice would you give students about how seriously they should take what they're doing now as students? Very seriously. Your education is your most important thing. And that's another good thing about our community. We have enough people seeing the importance of education. No longer are the jobs where you just use your hands. You have to have the technical skills and you have to have, you don't have to have a four-year degree, but you do have to have a certificate or something that says, hey, I not only got a high school, I can do this in special training. And then uh, you, you, know, you take it from there. But the, the light groups have gotten together. We have Manufacturing Matters started where uh, people can go to school for 18 months or 12 weeks free and get a certificate on light manufacturing. We have, we're going to start an internship program at the high school for the fire department to train young people that are interested in being a firefighter, give them two years of training, and they could be an EMT and start early. But it's, it's just the Excel Center coming to town or people that have dropped out of school can go back and get their high school diploma. This is all very important. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is we all have to encourage that early childhood learning and from the first grade on, encourage kids to stay in school, go to school, and do their best. If they need help, they need to ask for it. And, and there are certainly a lot of places where they can get help. And There's a lot of people out there. You know, everybody <laughs> needs a study buddy. I think even adults need mentors. <laughs> Attention all football players currently in condition. Remember, next week is Max Out Week. See your coaches for more info. More storms on the way later in the Red Devil forecast. Highs today will again be in the lows to mid 80s. And as a cold front moves through later, we could see some severe thunderstorms overnight. The rain will continue as the lows drop to the mid-50s Wednesday, and the rest of the week will be much cooler as we get back to more spring-like temperatures. As we close today, we have more pictures from Saturday's Riverboat Prom cruise. Have a great day.